behind the wheel, not wearing a seatbelt and speeding. Yeah, there's the belt, mate. How come it's not around you? Two offences that will soon result in tougher penalties. What this tells me is that people are still not getting the full message. From July, seatbelt fines will be more than $1,000 and four demerit points, an increase of about $660. Running a red light will cost $575, an increase of about $160. And speeding fines will incur a penalty of almost $290 to $1,650. We've got some of the highest penalties when it comes to using a mobile phone while driving and now we're going to have some of the highest penalties around seat belts as well. If you get caught twice within a year, it's double the merits and double the fine. So we're getting tough, but you know, it's not that hard to solve. Just do the right thing. Police hope the price hike will make drivers think twice about not buckling up. You'll have a person that hasn't worn a seat belt in exactly the same uh, traffic crash. Uh, they die. The person with the seat belt is unscathed. All revenue gets invested back into road safety initiatives and education, but the opposition wants more detail on exactly how it's used. I don't want to see government getting addicted to revenue from increased fines. That money has to drive cultural change to make people safer. Road safety researchers say the tougher fines for seatbelts should prove to be a deterrent. Because we have widespread uh, mobile phone and seatbelt cameras and they seem to be increasing in number, there is actually a, an increased chance of being caught and therefore it should have an effect, yes. The new penalties come as 47,000 fines were issued from covert road cameras which have captured drivers using a mobile phone or not wearing a seatbelt in the past four months alone. Most of the fines were for using a phone behind the wheel. The location of the cameras remain a secret and the government plans to introduce more. Rachel Rieger, ABC News, Brisbane.